TV be playing in the year 2000? Will your washing machine still be washing in the next century? And what about your vacuum cleaner? I'm Charlie McKee. Charlie Electrolux is a Swedish multinational home appliance manufacturer. The company was founded in 1919 and to this very day the company is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. The company originates from a merger of two companies, Lux AB and Svenska Electron AB, the former, uh, the former an established manufacturer and the latter a younger company founded by a former vacuum salesman who had also been an employee of the former firm. The origins of Electrolux are closely tied to the vacuum, but today it also makes major appliances. Electrolux made, a, an, an, made an initial public offering on the London Stock Exchange in 1928. It was delisted in 2010 and another on the Stockholm Stock Exchange in 1930. Currently, it shares trade on the NASDAQ OMX Nordic Market and over-the-counter and over-the-counter Electrolux is, is an OMX Nordic 40 constituent stock. Sales company to major manufacturer. In 1919, a Svenska Electron AB acquisition, Electro, Electro Miniska AB became Electrolux. The spelling was changed to Electrolux in 1957. It initially sold Lux branded vacuum cleaners in several European countries. In 1923, the company acquired AB Arctic and subsequently added absorption refrigerators to its product line. Other appliances soon followed, including washing machines in 1951, dishwashers in 1959, and food service equipment in 1962. Mergers and Acquisitions The company has often and regularly expanded through mergers and acquisitions. While Electrolux had bought several companies before the 1960s, that decade saw the beginnings of a new wave and M&A activity. The company bought Electro Helios, Norwegian Electra, Danish Atlas, Finnish Seld, and Flemo et al. in the nine years from 1960 to 1969. It sold its American subsidiary to Consolidated Foods in 1968, exiting the American market until 1974 when Electrolux acquired Eureka Williams from National Union, one of the oldest names in the vacuum cleaner industry. Electrolux sold its vacuum cleaners using the Eureka brand name in North America until 2004. This style of growth continued through the 1990s, seeing Electrolux purchase scores of companies including for a time Husqvarna. Hans Worthen, president and later chairman of the board, led the strategic core of an increasingly decentralized Electrolux and was instrumental to its rapid growth. While attempts to cut costs, centralized administration, and, and, and ring out econ economies of scale from Electrolux's operations were made in the 1960s and 1970s with the focus so firmly on growth Further company-wide restructuring efforts only began in the late 1990s, 2000 to the present. In North America, the Electrolux name was long used by vacuum cleaner manufacturer Ares LLC, originally established to sell Swedish Electrolux products. In 2000, Ares transferred trademark rights back to the Electrolux group and ceased using the Electrolux name in 2004. Conversely, Electrolux made vacuums carried the Eureka brand name, which Electrolux continued to use while also selling Electrolux branded vacuums after 2000. Electrolux USA customer service maintains a database of Electrolux made vacuums and provides a link to Ares' website for the convenience of owners of Electrolux branded Ares vacuums. Keith McLaughlin took over as president and CEO on January 1st, 2011 and became the company's first non-Swedish chief executive. In August 2011, Electrolux acquired from Sigido Coppers, the Chilean appliance manufacturer CTI, obtaining several brands with the purchase including Fensa, Gaffa, Maxima, and Salema. On February 6, 2017, Electrolux announced that it had agreed to acquire Anova Applied Electronics Incorporated, the U.S.-based provider of the Anova 
Precision Cooker. On March 23, 2020, Electro Lux completed the spin-off of its professional division, which the, se which the separated company incorporated as Electro Lux Professional AB. And there's the history of Electro Lux. How did it become so popular? Well, I think with all those acquisitions that they did and mergers with all those companies that they did back in the past, I think that's how they became very popular. But anyways, with that being said, I think this is where I'm going to end off this video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button and also don't forget to subscribe to get every single day. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring your notification bell on my second channel. My second channel will be the... My second channel will be the second link in the below. And if you guys would like to check out my social media pages, my social media pages will all be linked down in the description below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!